So how do we raise awareness about environmental issues? Well, indeed, it has to do with awareness and methods of making people aware of the importance of going green. And from Francis Tuttle is Candace Curry, who is the business marketing and professional sales instructor. And Candace, <clears throat> people do need to be aware. They absolutely do need to be aware. And they need to start today thinking, how can I do a better job today and tomorrow? And to create that awareness, that, that shift in mindset, well, you know, you, you, you take someone who's <clears throat> anywhere from 30 to 50 years old, and maybe they're familiar a little bit with the greening of, of America and Oklahoma, but habits sometimes die challenging, you know, they, right. they die hard, so <clears throat> building that awareness, and I've noticed that you brought some things with you. Yes, I do have a few things to show you that the way Francis Tuttle got started is we kicked it off at the beginning of our school year last year. And so in order to do that, uh, the marketing team and I sat and just brainstormed and we decided at our Share Our Success meeting we would kick off our green initiative. And to do that, we got rid of all of our star fun cups on campus. So we no longer were going to use star fun cups. So we brought and gave each faculty member a Think Green all right, so that is, well, okay. hold that up again. I, I, I want to talk about that. Okay. okay. So this is glass. This is uh, plastic, actually. Oh, it is plastic. Yes, but rewashable, duty. reusable. Rewashable, re that, right, that's, right. that's not going to go in the trash can. Not going to go in the trash can. <laughs> you're going to use it, you're going to wash it, and you're going to reuse it again every day. And this um, Think Green was Francis Tuttle's uh, decided effort to make people more aware because we are a school and what do we do at schools? We think. So we decided to use the think in coordination with what we're doing on campus which is teaching young people to use their minds and to critically think and then of course green to, to make them aware that we're thinking green this year. So do the, these are the little glasses that they keep in their office or that they mm -hmm. use um, mm -hmm. and they carry it around campus. You'll see them all. If you come on Francis Tunnel's campus, you will see them going from meeting to meeting or at their desk in their office, or they all have their Think Green uh, glasses that they use. And if they're not drinking iced tea or ice water, they can also drink from their coffee mug that we gave them at the same time, which was, again, following our same Think Green um, attitude that we were going to have going forward. And we gave them a, a coffee mug as well. So, all right, I, I can just see now, I'm envisioning that I'm taking my little <laughs> magic marker and it's got my name, you know, do not bother this cup, oh, it's yeah. mine. <laughs> We've got, a, yeah, names on the here and on the bottom, and, yeah, yeah, and we have them in all of our break rooms, so if somebody comes in that's a visitor yeah. and would like a fresh cup of coffee, um, they can enjoy it out of our Think Green mug. And, and all of the uh, trash cans that in the past, as you know, you open a trash can and what do you see? Tons of plastic, right. tons of disposable things that... Right. Uh, how many millennia does it take for that stuff to decompose and right. it's just clogging up our system so this begins to reduce that process. Exactly, exactly and that's really what we wanted to do is um, thinking green is a journey it doesn't happen overnight it's starting with small steps and growing and what can I do next and growing and so at our kickoff um, like I said at our share our success kickoff we gave them these mugs and these cups to make them aware that no longer should they just go get a star foam. Our big thing was we removed all star foam from our campus because once that does go in the landfill as many of us know it never goes away and it stays and it stays so we wanted to do our part to reduce the amount of star foam that was going into Oklahoma's landfills. Now do you have a cafeteria on campus? Yes. So at one time I'm sure styrofoam was used if yes. people were going to take meals out or right. do whatever and so what has taken the place of the styrofoam? Well they're starting to use paper and they're investigating other avenues as well um, using recycled corn I think they're looking at and so uh, we had to start at a, one process which was using paper cups instead of the styrofoam cups and then we're also now looking at you know some other things that might also help and, and do something a little different like recycled corn or recycled uh, products. Just different things that are going to be more biodegradable. Right, and, right. And making sure that, like the um, meals to go, if they're in the plastic, that they're, they've come from recycled plastic. And they're also at the level of plastic that can be recycled again. Now, I see, speaking of uh, items, I see a little bag yes. there. And tell me, hold the bag up and let's talk about this. Well, this was <coughs> um, a trash bag that we, to reuse and to reuse, instead of 
um, just having trash bags that you have in your car that you just throw in the we put we handed these out at our we had an eco fair on Earth Day and we planted trees and we celebrated um, Earth Day on the, the campus and we handed these out to all students and all faculty to use in their cars to help <laughs> with the trash um, going in this bag and then taking the trash and putting it away versus just throwing it on the ground and, and uh, polluting our, our land. What future do you see as we look at the future, and this is so exciting, um, as to this awareness and the increased level of awareness? It was really interesting when I started um, out the first year and became the chair of our Think Green campaign, we had over 70 people sign up saying, I want to be a member of your team. I want to be a part of this. And so in that, they all came with great ideas and different things that we could do. And we had a lot of fun our first year doing uh, setting up recycled paper, making sure that um, we weren't, you know, reusing paper, making sure we were printing on both sides. Meetings became very creative. Instead of handing out agendas, we wrote the agendas on bulletin boards. And instead of, you know, just using paper cups, we all came with our own uh, cups that we would use and then walk away with. So it really made a spirit on campus that we were doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. So that was our really our first year was our year of awareness and the students caught fury as well. They um, we did a whole day of where they went out and picked up trash on campus and then they came back and they made a bug and it was called our litter bug and we displayed those on campus and everybody got to come by and they voted on the best litter bug and it made us aware of how much trash is just going out onto the the ground instead of being recycled and reused and doing what we needed to do for our earth. Earth, you know, thinking green, what's Oklahoma's color? Green. Our, our state color is green, and we should be a forefront in thinking green. And so we wanted to be a part of that. Well, now, you mentioned the first year. When was the first year? Last year. <coughs> Last year was the first year, and then this year, we've really stepped it up a notch. And George Sylvester, who is our uh, director of maintenance, really has taken it to that next level where all of his contracts are now done where you um, have to think green in mind like all of our cleaning supplies are uh, green friendly cleaning supplies and <coughs> all of our uh, light bulbs that he puts in are now um, earth friendly fluorescent light bulbs so he we redid all the lighting um, on campus as you drive in to save energy <coughs> we're uh, going through a process in the ladies rooms and men's rooms where the lights go off and when someone walks in the light goes on to save energy he has done a tremendous job with taking it to that leadership level we can only do so much as instructors and students and faculty to do our part to try to keep the trash up but it really takes someone to go to that next level to really make an impact and he's doing that for Francis Tuttle. It seems <coughs> by changing the the lighting has probably created a significant uh, value. Absolutely it does. It, it does. It only cr it creates value to, of course, being kinder to this earth, but it also saves Francis Tuttle money, and it will save a tremendous amount of money over the course of time. I would think just by looking at the electrical bill, I bet there's a percentage they're saying, wow, we're saving this percentage. I, have, I don't know if they've gotten that specific with it yet. Not yet, in that um, this just started this year and changing <coughs> those out. So as the lights go out, we don't want to be wasteful. Um, so as the lights go out and we are in need of changing the light bulbs in the classrooms, those go to the energy saving level. So probably at the end of this year, starting next year, <coughs> they could really track the impact from year to year because this was our first year. Sure. So next year they can say this time last year we used this much energy versus this much energy. And, and he also has changed all of our landscaping. So the uh, chemicals that he puts on of our lands now are all earth friendly. Um, we used to use a, a wash on our sidewalks to de-ice that was very chemically um, challenging and at times would kill like the fish that we have in our pond if it washed into it. He's changed all of that to where now that's very earth friendly. We're building a ten million dollar building on campus and we're being very responsible in the way that we're building that building and making sure that we, we're doing exactly what we need to do to lighten our footprint on this earth. So it is a journey. Well, it, it is, and, and that building, I'm sure the construction and, and design uh, is going to be to accommodate 
Absolutely. These kind of changes. Absolutely. And and even um, in the classes that will be held will be um, tend, you know, lend itself towards that as well. And I had an opportunity to talk to the architect who is in charge of that building and, and he is saying every step and every move they make and everything they can do to make it um, a building of conscientious rightness for the environment they are doing it. So that makes me very proud. Well, and, and uh, have you have you had a chance to see the architectural <coughs> design that they're yes. using? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would think the placement of the windows, the, exactly. Uh, so, so many little things that uh, uh, even a bike rack. We don't have a bike rack on campus. We will now have a bike rack, and the bike rack not only will it be available so students and faculty can ride. The bike rack is going to be certified where the actual lead that the bike rack is going on comes within 50 miles of where it's actually going to land. So therefore, it didn't take a lot of energy and um, you know waste getting the materials there to build that bike rack. So there's all kinds of things you don't even really think about that come to light. Now those can be brought into and be a part of the total awareness of what's happening and probably the educational offering too, more yes. and more as time yes. goes along. Students, it's amazing, <coughs> the students and their awareness and they come to me and they say what about this and should we do this next and they start that thinking at that level of how can I do my part and how can I do better. So what is in the future? What, what's going to be happening with more awareness activities? We're going to continue uh, thinking green. We're going to, as we order um, supplies on campus, they will have the Think Green initiative in mind. Um, all of the, uh, you know, things that we do in our classroom, every year we're asked to choose five things that we're going to concentrate on, and they're five different things, and so we grow every year. The building, of course, and, and the changing of the lights, and the cleaning supplies, and the maintenance <coughs> materials, and all that we're doing, we're getting greener and greener. And Another interesting thing that we're doing is we're mentoring with um, University of Central Oklahoma because they've done a fantastic job and have won a lot of awards with their green initiative. So uh, George and I have gone out there on several occasions and met with the faculty there and they have taught us a lot on how to think green and we've partnered with them. One way we partnered with them is ceiling uh, tiles. When we replace a ceiling tile we save it and we give it to the University of Central Oklahoma and then when they get enough to recycle they take it to a place and recycle it that then it is then used as insulation in Inside buildings. So there's a lot of ways to recycle you don't even realize. Old uh, yellow pages can be uh, now shredded and processed and used for insulation. So we're partnering with them to um, do that as well. So we're partnering with other universities to uh, make sure that if we don't have the ability to do something, if they do, we you know partner with them to do that. As we've mentioned in other sections of this program today, it is a mindset. It is. It's looking at things through a different filter and realizing all the benefits that uh, even from a reduced uh, distance of having to, to ship something to produce something. Right. All of those things seem to right. come into play. Right. Right. And the glass that you use on the buildings and how much sunlight that that lets in to um, how much stress that that puts on your lighting systems inside your building, uh, making sure that you keep up with all the maintenance on your air conditioning. And I, I just would repeat that George has done an amazing job to make sure that he's covered all of those things. We are uh, have come leaps and bounds. We'll continue to grow leaps and bounds and it is a journey and we're looking forward to just every year. We're planting a lot of, of trees and doing some things architecturally um, for the landscaping that also helps. Well this is exciting for the students, faculty and everyone relating to Francis Tuttle and Candace Curry. Thank you so much for being with welcome. us, uh, business marketing and professional sales instructor. It's my pleasure. Very glad to have you. And, uh, you know, I, we, we can see that uh, Greening of America from the programs that you've seen is not just a slogan. Uh, it's really a significant educational direction to move the future of Oklahoma to cleaner and more efficient energy resources. Mm -hmm.